Hey, sixth graders, Miss Poolin here. Today we're going to be talking about Wind on the Hill, which is a poem by A.A. A. Milne. So just a reminder that A.A. A. Milne is the author of Winnie the Pooh, and he is also the subject of our author study for Poetry Month. All right, here we go. Wind on the Hill. No one can tell me, nobody knows, where the wind comes from, where the wind goes. It's flying from somewhere as fast as it can, I couldn't keep up with it, not if I ran. But if I stopped holding the string of my kite, it would blow with the wind for a day and a night. And then when I found it, wherever it blew, I should know that the wind had, some, had been going there too. So then I could tell them where the wind goes, but where the wind comes from, nobody knows. All right, so what I like about this poem is the rhyme scheme. So the rhyme scheme of this poem is every other line starting with the second. So nobody knows where the wind goes. So it's line A, line B, line C, line D. So lines B and D are the ones that are rhyming here. All right, the other thing I want to point out on this poem is kind of like the theme of discovery, right? So this kid, he's maybe he's he sees the wind, he feels the wind, he's one with the wind, and he's very inquiring, which means he's inquisitive, he he's always wondering, he's about the world. So when we think of wind, all of a sudden like we're like, oh my gosh, it's windy outside. We we don't know where it comes from, and we know it's maybe going somewhere, but we can't really pinpoint exactly where it's going. But this kid, he's super wondering about where it's going. So he tests his theory by holding up a kite and letting the kite fly in the wind and he's letting the wind take the kite. So he finally finds the kite somewhere after the wind blew it. And he's like, oh, well, that's where the wind took it. So he found out where it went based on his little experiment with the kite. But it doesn't answer his question from where the wind comes from. Like when we think of wind, like I said before, it kind of just like comes out of nowhere. We can't really like pinpoint a site like, oh, that definitely came from uh, this place or that came from that place. We can't really say it came from the beach or whatnot. We just know that all of a sudden it's like with us and then it's away from us. It's almost like we don't know it's past. We feel it in our present and then we see that's going somewhere in the future. So I like the progression of the poem in that kind of way and I also kind of like the the mystery of wind let me know what you think